Welcome back to the Joe and Di's allotment channel. I'm Joe. And I'm Di. And Di's behind the camera. So what we're doing today is we're harvesting our gooseberry crop. Um, we've got four gooseberry bushes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven punnets. So we've got nine punnets there already. So yeah, I mean, there's only a short window to harvest, sort of two to four week period. And what we do is we, we harvest them and we show you in the coming weeks how we sort of uh, store or use yeah, so we watch, we uh, harvested near enough six kilograms of gooseberries. Um, so whatever recipe you're making, the first step would be to top and towel the gooseberries, which simply means just taking off the little sort of um, top and the towel, basically. <laughs> That's what it means. So it's a little growthy bit and a little towel at the bottom. So it's just a matter of removing those um, and then give them a good wash and then they're ready for sort of using whichever recipe you want to use them in. So we're going to make gooseberry jam. Gooseberries are um, like sour cherries, very high in pectin. So you don't need to add pectin to, to make the jam. So it's another easy one for um, beginners if you want to try it. There's no sort of needing pectin and adding extra pectin to sort of get it to set. It will set very quickly. Um, it probably sets in about 25 to 30 minutes once you sort of bring it to a, a simmering boil. So the first step is to sort of crush, crush the gooseberries a bit and release some of the juices. And once we release some of the juices, we can now put it on a gentle simmer and carry on crushing them for a little while. So we'll um, gradually increase the heat now, bring it to sort of um, a simmer, and then we'll add the sugar. So there's 1.75 kilograms of gooseberries in here. So um, yes, it's up to you uh, choice really. Uh, you can do 1.75 kilograms of sugar as well, but we like to reduce it to around about 75% sugar. So we'll put in 1.4 kilograms of sugar into the mixture. So that's now come to a sort of gentle simmer. So we'll chuck the sugar in next. Stir that into it dissolves. We'll bring that to the simmer. We'll let it simmer for about uh, 20, 25 minutes and then we'll test it for setting, which means putting a little bit on a plate and see if it sort of forms a crusty surface and you know it's set. So that sugar's getting absor absorbed now, I can feel it sort of going. So I'll now bring that to a simmer and we'll um, see how we're going, about 25 minutes. So that's been um, simmering on a simmered boil for about 30 minutes now and we put it onto a plate and as you can see it's setting quite well. But it also carries on setting after you put it in the jars for quite a while afterwards till it cools right down, it will set for a while. And as it's um, simmering as well, we take off any sort of froth that's on top as well. So remove the froth, there's a little bit left in there. Um, so yeah, that's set. That's ready to pour into pre-sterilized jars. So you wash your jars thoroughly in hot soapy water. Then you put them in the oven, 160 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. Um, and then you're ready to pour. So we'll pour the uh, jam into the jars now about making too much mess, hopefully. <laughs> well, it's sitting on top as I'm looking at it. It's a lovely colour. So try and get near the top of the jar if you can. It helps it form a... vacuum. Two. So yeah, poured it into it very, very hot, and then put the jars on, lids on, not jars, put the <laughs> lids on straight away. And as it's cooling, it will form a vacuum in the top part of the jar. So we've got one, two, three, four, five and a half jars of gooseberry jam. That's lovely, lovely color. So hope you enjoyed the video. Have a go at making some yourself. As, as we said earlier, it's one of the easiest jams to make for beginners. Or you don't need pectin, 
Um, just sugar. Sugar in the gooseberries. And it cooks very quickly. Maybe 30 minutes, it has reached setting point. So it's very, very quick jam to make as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a go yourself. If you've got some gooseberries available, or if you want to buy some and make some. Yeah, have a go. If you, do, if you do make some, let us know in the comments box if you enjoyed it. And give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow our journey through the allotment year, where we'll be doing lots of sort of recipes as well as showing you how we sow, grow our crops. We like to show how we use and store the crops as well. So thank you for watching and happy gardening everybody.